Hello, welcome back to another beer review. As you see, it's now Christmas time. I have my beautiful Christmas tree here. I'm doing a few beer reviews which lead up to my 100th beer, but this is one with my friend Janelle here. So hello. 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 And if you can see her, there's Hattie the dog, uh, who's going to be joining us for beer review as well. So, um, and Janelle doesn't know what we're going to be reviewing, so I've got mine ready. So for the guest reviews I have, it's always a, it's always a, uh, a mixed bag because it's whatever comes to my randomizer but this this time it's i should tell you what it's going to be it's from spain first brewed in 1876 okay 5.4 percent okay and it is I'm going to turn away so I don't see estrella it. okay estrella oh. have you had estrella before i yeah i probably have actually when i was in barcelona it's from barcelona so a nice big bottle of it here um so first of all in my beer reviews i talk about the design so about the general thing so you can see here uh, it's quite a basic design. There's not a lot, there's not much to it. It's got just this sort of basic label there. It doesn't cover the entire bottle. Uh, and I, I normally like beers that have got stories. This one hasn't got a story. Oh, Hattie's already jumped off there. Uh, this one hasn't got a story. There's just uh, not much going on. So uh, I'm gonna now talk about the tasting notes. Okay. In fact, would you like to read the tasting notes? They're, okay. They're here. Okay. Normally get the guests read tasting notes. Right, Fruity up. nose has hints of grape and oranges, as well as a whisper of grainy malt. Crisp start on the palate before being joined by caramel, vanilla, and fresh floral notes. Clean, light finish. Sound right? It clog it's clogging like a wine bottle. It's quite yeah. fun. Interesting. Okay. The top brand beer of Spain has been found throughout Europe. Okay. See, I'm not sure I've even had Estrella before. You can find it actually on draft in quite yeah, a few places. Yeah, you see it quite often. I don't actually know. Um, so okay, we've obviously got a little bit of a head on that. Um, it's very, yeah, it looks, it's very, very pale. It looks very much like a lager. Um, it smells like a lager. It smells, it smells very much like a European lager to me. Yeah. So let's go for it. Cheers. 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 It's very, very light. Like not much flavour to it. No, it's super light. Um, it is. It doesn't have much taste, really. I mean, it could it could be really good for anything. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, that's a big bottle. It is a big bottle. Um, it's okay. I mean, I would say that um, it's better than Budweiser, but it's kind of in the Heineken category for me. Yeah, it's nothing it's special, not... is it? I mean, it's it... forgettable. Spain hasn't really they haven't really gone into the craft beer market yet. Not that much. So mm. I was in Madrid. Mm. last year and well, there was like one craft beer bar in Madrid and it was quite nice but had lots of foreign beers on so I don't think Spain are really quite there yet and mm. it's no surprise this is their best selling beer although it is interesting that their best selling beer is a Spanish lager versus the other European stuff yeah. you know you see this occasionally in bars here in um sort of on draft but not really? that often okay. yeah I've so, seen like Bud Bar and stuff more often yeah. but it's not it's okay I'm gonna I'll say I'll save the calories on something else. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Um, <laughs> so and the the next question is, I always have a litmus test. Okay. If I went into a bar and this was on or Doom Bar was on, what would I rather have? And actually with this one, I'd say Doom Bar. Yeah, that's, Doom Bar. That's like, yeah. even though Doom Bar's not that great. It's, this is fine. Doom Bar I mean, is it's... drinkable. I mean, this is just has, doesn't, there's not much flavour to it. I really don't like lager. So no. for me, it's just not, it's not something I would go to. No, it's not. I mean, 4.6%, it's not, not that exciting it hasn't got it's got almost no flavor at all to it so i think we'll leave it there um uh, do like the video comment subscribe if anyone if you do like estrella let me know because i don't think i think it's just quite tasteless yeah we'll leave it there we'll be back for another beer review at a later time bye thanks bye